Nigel's going to talk us through uh, his experience of working in the Rockwoods and founding that organisation. Um, and then I think Constantine uh, is going to talk us through some of the work. I don't know. I'm going actually very easy to work with the children in the army base. They were very um, they were very safe within their, their community behind the wire and they, they were a joy to work with and the parents were as well in between their fathers were out in Afghanistan so it was actually quite hard for them. Um, we had great fun. asked them the number plate of my vehicle and I told them it was portion part and everybody was like wet themselves laughing. It just totally broke the ice. And then after that, um, at the same time I was handling packages to all the young people in the village. So I was in their space with these packages about uh, drawn ideas for bus shelters and um, so uh, they, they would throw their packages away with a hedge so I could see that. Um, they really weren't happy with me at all. So then, um, then uh, I started to, to come up to their space and uh, work in their space before they would get the bus. And then they would know then that I was working there earlier than their bus. So then they decided that they would come and work with me and show me how to do it. So um, we all worked together with cardboard on a design for a bus, and um, it took it took it took a good few weeks to get to this stage. Um, the 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 young children I worked with were, were from the ages of eleven to seventeen then, and then one evening um, we decided to have our meeting go, and the older young people came out. They were twenty five. You know, 18 to 25, with big aggressive dogs with them, you know, that they're pets that they love and, and whatever else. And they really showed me what they could do. And um, they picked the colour, and um, that's in driving their vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the different times, early in the morning and um, when they come home from school in, in the evening, they work, you provide uh, drinks and food and good fun, you know. Uh, we let them paint, we let them do these things. They even, they even use stolen alloy wheels to have a really good effect. <laughs> uh, that's the other one you can see. You see wheels, there's four of them. They guarded it for two days, and uh, the, first, the first night somebody said they tried to burn it, but they didn't. They built a wee fire inside it, and then a wee fire inside it, and they guarded it. But then on the second night, they, they um, had fun and then the next photograph was uh, yeah, it's not there. Oh, well, it isn't there. So then, in doing this bus stop project, and I met a lot of um, the mums and uh, grandparents that would be standing about to put the children on the bus, and they they were saying how it is not. And so then, 
from then on we decided we had no community centre or anything else, we just decided that the horse box, you know, just bring furniture up and we set the furniture. We borrowed electricity from the neighbours to boil up kettles uh, and we used china teacup, uh, teacups and china plates and um, we uh, had tea out in the street and we had really, really good fun. We would listen to old records out in the street. Um, we have uh, James Young, we have a great comedian who would have been a comedian in the 19, all through the 1969, and he talked about the troubles in 1969, how we are just beginning to talk about the troubles. So we, we all of us older ones would be laughing and the young ones wouldn't know what we're laughing at. We're really laughing at ourselves. So um, then, uh, before, this, this, this was all right to October, and then we decided the weather was getting really bad and we needed a space. We asked the local GA club and they said no, which they have every right to say no. So um, I sourced this in Dundrum, and then we, um, with a young fellow who was doing community service, and a friend of mine, um, we, we, we did it up. And um, the, these cushions were given to me by um, one of the loans and uh, then so we sort of took the decoration from that and the china teacups because what you can say in your own home around the table uh, you, you don't sort of say outside and when you come from two different communities and you put this whole mix well, we would get about 12 pensioners into this caravan and uh, we used it we used it for a whole year every tuesday uh, and there's it there, and this is uh, this is Rosalie. She's a great bingo caller. She's a great bingo. She and that's her having to smoke health and safety indoors, <laughs> outdoors. So um, the great characters, the, the pensioners, the very young pensioners, are are activists themselves. Like this is a big <coughs> collaboration. You know, they, they tell me what to do. You know, and, and their ideas are unbelievable. Bingo is a big, big. Very important to bring the in our community and uh, tea and craft and laughter. Um, we go on hot, we've been on two weekend holidays each summer and um, we want to be more proud of uh, uh, the in the tower in Fish and Doll and we turned the whole tower into bed and breakfast and um, we had a really good holiday and that was our, our artwork. And then, um, then also then the, the, the older ones that um, that helped with the bus stop wanted to use the caravan as well, so I had to ask the ladies' permission could I use this caravan on a different site for them? And oh, goodness. oh, here we are. This is this is this is what we call the negative end of a community. Um, I do not find them negative at all. I find their negativity just totally, totally unchanneled. Not unchanneled knowledge such knowledge they have they have such knowledge and it's not looked at as knowledge it's looked at as a negative negative way of knowing um, so this is the noise they're um they're, they're disenfranchised from the community you know they, they have no space so we, we took it here i also have a problem when i work with these young people then the good end of the community like the very young pensioners it's very, very hard for them to understand why and how and they still feel threatened. But the more we bring people together, the better then they learn it's not that bad and they find out, you know. And so I just want to go to the So uh, this, this is the, the, the her research that um, we, we have turned into a, a cultural centre. Um, a local businessman has left and us rent free. We use this uh, her research more. Um, this is um, PS2 and Rhizo pay for this here. This is this is the soccer pitch that I keep telling you about, and this is a container. So we turned it into a community centre as well during the summer. And the pensioners organised this. The activism. It's them. We'll do this, and we we'll, we we'll make this space for the young mums. And all summer they came with the young ones. Artists from all over came, and um, the very young pensioners 
we had roasted that day. It was really hot. Um, they, they made a lunch, but previously the, the visitors went into the army base and got a tour in the army base and a, a, a presentation on the two rifles here around. So, um, this, uh, just um, this is the ladies showing their uh, one out of drawers. Um, this is Annie, she's a great character. Uh, Annie here, um, she, she is a fabulous gardener. You should see her garden. It's like a Disneyland, it's unbelievable. Um, Rosie, Rosie's her 10 children, so she has um, in the hind. Mona, Patsy, Patsy died during the summer, so she did, so that was pretty hard for us all. So, um, and Lily, there's, there's just wonderful characters with so much knowledge and understanding. And, and really wicked how they think, how they can manipulate things. Um, uh, this uh, the St. Patrick's Day Parade, the pensioners worked with a young girl, Jim Club, to make a fancy dress. So we brought the caravan, and the pensioners actually wore big tree costumes and a cycle hat with big trees. And you know they looked like Dad's army? Do you know Dad's army? And like it's so funny that this army thing infiltrates all the time, even through creative creativeness. So these four ladies were walking around like Dad's army in this parade and the girls were and the caravan was there. And we were all really enjoying ourselves protesting. You know, it's really cool. And the council had this huge But this is the girls were able to uh, and read all the costumes and um, it was brilliant. So the boys are going to be in the St. Patrick's Day parade this year. And we won three hundred pounds. They won three hundred pounds as a prize. So um, it's really good. Uh, this is um, the community police. The children, the, the girls don't mind the police. The boys really don't like the police. But the police decided to give us a thousand pounds. We used four hundred pounds on clay, paints, paper, pens, pencils. Um, we really, the boys really wanted a computer game thing, but the police won't allow it. So then um, we got food for lots of good things. But the whole thing, well, there's the hats that the ladies wore. You see them in the background, hanging right upside down. That's the hats they wore on their head as trees. They really did look like that, aren't they? And, and um, so then the big thing was, well, well, you know, the bigger boys. Well, what did you do for your thousand pound? What information did you give them? You know, so you get this whole conversation of mistrust and trust, and, and then um, as we go on. This is our cultural centre in Mobile Swing. Um, this is, uh, this is uh, part of PSA Mobile Swing. Uh, and three artists came down to work in the wing with the boys, the pensioners, and, the, and anybody really. So um, this was an information day. Uh, that's Patty Bloomer. The young boys wanted to make the police. The, the police keep catching them on motorbikes and wee vehicles that make with illegal, you know, they're illegal. So the boys wanted to make a vehicle that is legal. So Paddy is an artist in Belfast, he's very inventive. So we, we went to the farm and got in the car for the boys and the boys got in the car. And uh, you can see it here on, and you can move on. There's a third. And like health and safety would die if you've seen this here, it really would die. So the boys did all this. They used welders, they used grinders, um, <laughs> you know, they took the engine out and it went for scrap metal. Um, then they put the car at the front of the door back and they extended and then they put six bicycles into it. So you pedal and it's legal. <laughs> So the police came to see the boys doing it. The police came to see the boys, and the police loved it. They loved the way the artists worked with the young people. And you'd be working with different groups different times of the day. Paddy was amazing. He really, really gelled with the community. And uh, we were sent to the police to say, we've got you now. We've made a legal car. You can't do anything about it. We can be out the road. So then when we, we wanted to do a sponsored journey to Newcastle, then they handed us a certificate that we have to fill in because we have to apply to the parade commission to take this vehicle on the road because we're technically a parade. There's six people, six people pedaling, one person on top driving, and three in the passenger seat. So um, we were caught out in the end, but the whole discussion was good. Um, 
then this, the, the combination of the whole thing this summer was a, a burr, and this was a burr, and so locals, because of the car, oh, there was also a newspaper, I've got some here, the, 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 the girls and boys wrote their own newspaper, and um, also the older end of the community made a film, and um, they used the cultural centre on a Monday night, and they made a film about what they wanted to do, and theirs was really gambling, and uh, you know, gambling. So they, they made a film about poker, and um, I did ask them not to bring drink, and they didn't bring drink, but they did bring spirits. You know I mean? So, but it's, it's their space too, and there has to be some sort of give and take. So. Um, so they, they made a film, and uh, the, the film also Phil Hessian was a filmmaker, and they, they made a film with the pensioners as well. Meantime, all over a year, I had different young groups or groups of young people helping me with another caravan, make a cinema like a film from the Arts Council. But it took a whole year to make it. It was a very slow process. So we made it, we made this, and we finished the cinema in time to show the film. Which was really important. So this is um, we tend to it was like a really fair, it was brilliant. Because of the car, it introduced men who hide in the community. You know, we don't want it. And seeing the kids test in their car at each stage, and some of them brought their rally cars to the fair and their vintage cars and vintage, vintage tractors. And it, it, it just and we, and we invited everybody from the community, we invited the GAA, we invited the soccer, we invited the army, because we invited the army, the GAA declined, but that was up to them, you know, they, they have to work that one out themselves. So this is um, the tent, uh, this is the food tent, the cake tent, the youth clubs made the cakes and they made that way. Look, that's that's a steer. Here, by the steer. It's amazing, look. And and um, and it's normally set up for sure. The ones that park it up alongside the rally cars, you know, and um, the the in their seats, it, it's a, a proper kind of machine. And then the this this is the the, the pensioners had the idea of flower pots. And it was our, our caravan. I have one here for you. I just want to get a second. Sorry. So, so this is our caravan. It's for the incredible edibles to have. Um, it's, oh, wow. it's the ladies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, and there's a third yeah, yeah, have a look. How come it's pot? How did they do it? They had the idea and they stuck on the floors, but they didn't make it. But we arrived on the process of using clay and doing things. It is sort of fantastic. We'll put it down Daisy Street. <laughs>
Thank you. 